Ladies and gentlemen, Moogles and Chocobos, it's finally happening. Orlando is here, Final Fantasy Tactics in War of the Visions. This is the event everyone has been waiting for since the game launched, and everyone's extremely excited to get pulling on this banner. However, in this video, we're gonna talk about, as a free-to-play player, what you need to expect trying to pull for Orlando, and where your expectations should be by the end of this event. We're gonna play a little odds game and see how many times you need to pull in order to give yourself the best chance at getting Orlando. And then we'll talk about what your realistic goal should be for this event and why there's two really, really big pieces of news that are really, really good if you're wanting Orlando or Ramza. Again, guys, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we're gonna get right into it. I'm not going to talk too much about the units themselves, there's plenty of information out there, um, but suffice to say Orlando is a very good character, he's probably going to be the best in the game when this event launches and while there are going to be better units that come out eventually, suffice to say he's a really good unit and Ramsa is a very good unit too so you won't regret having either of these units if you pull on this banner and this vision card right here is um, considered to be one of the best vision cards still in the game in Japan as it adds agility as your party ability so all three of the things that you can pull on this banner that are limited are extremely good so I'm not going to get into the units themselves but we're going to talk more about what are your actual chances at getting Orlando and to Look at this, there was a Reddit post by our guy Haddison, and he talks about, again, if, you, if you're if you new to the game, if you need to find good information, Haddison posts a lot of really good information on Reddit. He's been playing the Japan version, and so he's been trying to give people advice a couple months ahead of time. He posts this post that's the realities behind chasing limited time ultra rares, which Orlando and Ramsa are, and the rationale for saving 60,000 plus visual for Orlando. Um, we don't have 60,000 as a free-to-play player. I think if you've saved every little bit and piece, you'd have right around 55,000. So most players are probably sitting around uh, 35 to 40 if you've been super miserly and haven't spent anything. So 60,000, you're, now you're going to say, should I even bother? And, and the answer to that question is, if you really like Final Fantasy Tactics, go right ahead. And we're going to talk about what your odds are and how you can do this smartly so you don't completely blow your account. So we scroll down here, and he talks about the realities of chasing an limited time ultra rare and the minimum visual you need. So this paragraph right here, let's assume that you get one Orlando in 150 pulls. Statistically speaking, at the pickup rate of 0.8%, this is the standard drop rate for ultra rares on a banner, Spending 150 pulls, which is 30,000 Fizior, that's 15 times 10 pulls, gives you a roughly 70% chance of at least one Orlando. Where he's getting this number is if I go to this probability calculator and I put in 0.08 and I repeat this 150 times, and this is, we're going to get back to this. Probability of A occurring is 70%. You're gonna see right there, 70.02%. So that's where he gets that number. If you pull 15 times, you have a 70% chance of pulling him. That's where he gets this number, but as a free-to-play player, we may not have 30,000 Vizior to spend. So let's figure out first how much that we get to spend. So this news was not good. Final Fantasy Tactics event shop may not have Orlando shards. If you read the, the notice, it says, the metal shop is only the only place where you can exchange your metals, yada, 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 including unit shards for Gafgarian and Ramsa. Orlando's not on here like he was in Japan. We're just going to assume that you can't get any character shards from anywhere in this event. So this is obviously not good news at all. However, there's another big piece of good news, and that's that Japan is running the Final Fantasy Tactics collaborative event with new units. And you can see those three, I'm not gonna ruin this for you, but you probably know who those three units are. The big part about this running again in four months is that as a free-to-play player, we can shift our expectations. We no longer have to try and press on to get a limit break five Orlando, which is what Haddison counts for in his post here. He says you need to have about um, 30,000 Vizior to spend on shards. We can cut that down to what we want is a limit break three. That's our minimum goal as a free-to-play player. And to get to limit break three, we're gonna use this spreadsheet put together by Sun. It's super helpful. It shows you everything that you need to max out Orlando, everything that you're gonna need to spend. 
you need to get 40 shards to get to limit break one, 80 shards to get to limit break two, 120 to limit break three at, for a total of 240 shards. Because of this news, let's just assume we can't get shards anywhere else and you will be able to get some just in different parts of this event, I'm sure. But we're just gonna assume we need all 240 shards, uh, character shards, and we need to spend Vizior for them. So at 50 Vizior per shard for 240 shards, that ends up at 12,000 Vizior in order to get him to limit break three. Now, if you do pull Orlando or Ramza and you do get them to limit break three, does that mean that you should stop buying their shards? I would say no. I would get them as high as you can during this event if you do pull one of the two of them. Now that we know how many shards we need, we know where our goalposts are, how many times should we pull on the banner in order to try and get Orlando? As we already covered, if you have 150 times, this is 30,000 Vizior, you have a 70% chance of pulling. Say you have 30,000 Vizior in the bank right now. Subtract 12,000 of that to get shards up to limit break three. That leaves you with 18,000, which lets you pull nine times, okay? So if I switch this to 90, you're gonna see that your chance of getting Orlando drops to about 50%. So 18,000 Vizior gives you a 50% chance to pull him. So that's not too bad, but there's a second piece of really, 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 really good news. And that is during this event, you can perform one 10 times summon for free each day for the first 10 days Ramza and Orlando are included in the summon pool. So this means you're getting 100 free pulls without spending Vizior at all. So if we go back to our probability calculator, we put in 100 pulls. If event A is Orlando, event B is Ramza, and we calculate, you're gonna see the probability of getting Ramza is 55% or probably getting Orlando or Ramza here is 55%. The probability of neither A nor B occurring, so that would be you didn't pull Ramza or Orlando, would be just 20%, which means just from the free tickets that they're giving you, you have about an 80% chance of getting one or the other or both, because the probability of both A and B occurring is about 30%. So you have a greater chance of actually getting both characters than you do of getting neither character just from the free polls. So this is really good news for Global. I think these free polls are going to help a ton. I also think this means as a free to play player or any player really, you should wait until a couple days into the event. This event goes three weeks. You're going to have plenty of time to buy the shards up to limit break three. Now, if you're going for limit break five, say you pull one of these characters super early on, and you're going for limit break five, then you need to get started on the shards right away. But if, you're, if your goal posts are set at limit break three, you don't need to spend a bunch of Vizior pulling on the banner right away. You can wait until you go through a few of these free pulls, maybe at least five of these, and see if you pull one of them, and then you know where you need to go instead of trying to pull randomly on the two banners. Anyways, I think this helps Global a lot. You don't get to choose Ramza or Orlando, but you have about an 80% chance um, of getting one or the other, or potentially both, just for free. And that's pretty cool, actually. Now, that brings us to commandment number two. Remember, commandment number one was your minimum goal should be limit break three, because the event's coming back within three or four months, you're going to, you're going to be able to get enough shards for the character the second time around to limit break five then. If you pull one of them early on, Use all your spare visual on those shards. Don't pull on the banner. Just try and limit break five. One of them, especially as free to play. If you're if you're paying to play the game and you want to keep pulling, more power to you. But as free to play, visual is super valuable. You should focus on one of these two characters. Now, say you really, really wanted Ramza and you pull Orlando from the free event, or the other way around. You really wanted Orlando and you end up pulling Ramza. Should you pull for the other one? And I would say, if you can get both to limit break three. Uh, go ahead and you really like the characters go go ahead and pull and what that means is set aside 24,000 Vizior that's 12,000 for each character and you're gonna get some free shards for Ramza So you really don't have to set aside that much some of these other parts of the event I think you can buy Ramza's shards in the shop for uh, The event currency so you can farm the event for a shard so Ramza is a little bit easier But just say for conservative sake set aside 24,000 so if you have 40,000 you end up pulling Ramza on the, one of the free first free tickets and you say, oh, I really wanted Orlando though. 
you can spend up to 16,000 to try and pull them, and that way you can limit break three, both of them. Or you can just say, ah, uh, you know, I know I wanted him, I'm free to play, I don't get to be picky and choosy, I'm just gonna go straight for a limit break five Ramza, which is what I would do. But if you really like one of these two characters, I mean, hey, have fun with the game. I mean, it's no point in playing if you can't have fun and have the characters you want. But we still have to be really smart with our Vizior as free to play players. So if you guys want a tried and true strategy for this event as a free to play player to get the best chance at drawing Orlando or Ramza and saving as much Vizior as possible, what I would say is I would wait all 10 days and through these free tickets. And if you don't pull one of them out of those tickets, then you can start drawing. I think with, um, you'll have about 11 days, you'll still be able to get one of them to limit break three if you decide that you're going to draw for them after that. So I'm gonna wait for these times 10 free summons, see if I pull one of the two in there and then build them from there before I spend anything on this banner. Anyway, I hope that this video helped you guys determine how much you should pull, what your expectations should be. And remember this goes on for three Three weeks so you have 10 days of free summons and about an 80% chance to pull either one of these two characters in the just in these free summons so you don't have to pull on the banner if you don't pull one of these two in the free if you're one of the unlucky 20% and you don't pull one of these two out of these summon tickets then yeah you can pull on the banner but you may not even have to spend on this event to get one of these two characters and that's really good news anyway i hope this video helped and may the luck of the moogles be with you on your draws and we'll talk to you guys next time